We're at the Oceano County Airport now, which is about 10 miles from where we left off at Santa Maria, and we're going to be making a trip about 100 miles north to Monterey, California, hopefully to play some golf. We're just catching the tail end of the day's marine layer IFR weather. Before we look for any previously cleared routes, let's open up the sectional and take a look at the big picture, which will help us make sense of any routes that we do find. So along this route, we've got ocean to the west, then we have some high terrain, and then a little further east, some lower terrain and kind of a valley. And we've got a bunch of military operations areas and restricted areas on the way. Most of these are active by NOTAM in the daytime, but we're going to assume for this flight that they're all active and we won't plan on going through any of them. Along the coast, there is some space to go between the MOAs if we pick the right altitude. So the Hunter Low MOA, for example, goes from 1,500 to 6,000, 1,500 AGL to 6,000 MSL, where the Hunter High MOA above it starts at 11,000. So anything between 6,000 and 11,000 would work, would keep us out of it. Similar situation with the one just to the south where the low starts at 1500 AGL and goes to 3000 MSL and the high MOA is still 11,000 to 18,000. The ones to the east are a little more extensive though. The low A MOA, for example, starts at 200 AGL and goes up to 10,999 and then it's immediately topped by the high MOA at 11,000 up to 18,000. So a route following airways up the coast could be an option. Okay, so let's check if there are any previously cleared routes between Oceano County and Monterey. We'll open up the route advisor, and apparently somebody has been making this trip because we've got one time that the route was cleared direct, and we don't really know if they actually got direct all the way there or if that was the initial clearance and it was amended to route around the MOAs and restricted areas, but either way, direct's probably not going to be an option for us. And then three times the airway route up the coast was assigned, and we know that's the route that takes us between the high and the low MOAs that are on the coast there at 7,000 to 8,000 feet. That route's probably reasonable, but let's see how we might go about finding a route if previously cleared routes didn't exist between these two airports that we could look at. When you're trying to find ATC preferred routing, it's really not necessarily about the two specific airports that you're using, but it's about how ATC sequences traffic into, out of, or through busy terminal areas. The Oceano County area is not that, but Monterey to an extent is. So really the question is not what's the preferred route from Oceano County to Monterey, it's what's preferred for south arrivals to the Monterey area. So with that in mind, let's check a couple nearby airports. We'll check Santa Maria to Monterey, and then we'll check San Luis Obispo to Monterey. Both are slightly busier airports that are likely to have some IFR traffic. Looking at routes from Santa Maria to Monterey, there is one that stands out that's been cleared 24 times for all different types of aircraft from 8,000 to 20,000. It's a route that goes around everything for the most part to the east through Paso Robles, VOR, and then Wiggle. And actually zooming in a little bit, you can see that it does actually cut the corner of the restricted airspace there. That could be a reasonable route to file. My preference though is not to pick a route that goes through restricted airspace that I know is going to be active. So I'd probably bend that around it and then just be happy to get a shortcut if it happens. Scrolling down there are a few more routes that were assigned just once. And then another one that goes through Wiggle on the way into Monterey. And then 18 times just a direct clearance. So it looks like something that goes to Wiggle is probably a safe bet. And actually that works out pretty well for us because the approach that I want to fly has an initial approach fix at Wiggle. Looking at routes then from San Luis Obispo to Monterey, 11 times we have this Callus Victor 27 CARM route, which is the airway route along the coast again. But scrolling down, there's a definite consensus on Paso Robles and Wiggle, which is the same one that we found out of Santa Maria, 144 times between 6,000 and flight level 240. So that's what I'm going to pick. We'll move our departure back to Oceano. But as I said, I don't really want to pick the route that goes through restricted airspace that I know is going to be active. So let's just pick a waypoint that'll get us around that. And I'm going to go with Sardo. For now then, we'll plan on Paso Robles, Sardo, Wiggle, but that could change depending on how we choose to depart. Oceano County is basically a VFR airport. There's no IFR procedures there at all. So let's review what that means for us as we plan an IFR departure. If an airport has at least one instrument approach, then it also has been surveyed for departures. It'll then either pass the criteria for a diverse departure, in which case you can turn in any direction safely following a few basic criteria, 
or it will get some combination of an obstacle departure procedure or non-standard takeoff minimums. We'll talk more about diverse departures, ODPs, and takeoff minimums later, but none of that applies here. Oceano County has no instrument approaches, so it was also never surveyed for departures. And that means we're completely on our own to find a way to depart safely. It doesn't necessarily mean we're out of luck if weather's IFR, but we should definitely proceed with caution. And clearly there are places where we just shouldn't depart into IMC. At an airport like Kern Valley in California, for example, we definitely want to be able to see the surrounding mountains, which would require really good VFR weather. But it's a little bit less black and white here at Oceano County. There is rising terrain to the north and to the east, but there's also ocean immediately to the west. If we had to depart to the north for some reason, a good strategy would be to set a weather minimum that allowed visual contact with the terrain. There's a maximum elevation figure on the sectional in that direction of 3200, so we could set that as our minimum ceiling and also require, say, 3 miles visibility. Remember that the elevations on the sectional are MSL, while ceilings are AGL, but Oceano is pretty much at sea level, so there's really no difference here. We could also adjust our path just a little bit to the west towards Morro Bay, away from the highest terrain. And it looks like the highest terrain between takeoff and Morro Bay is below 2,000. So a ceiling of 2,000 or greater would be sufficient for visual contact with terrain. And then we could climb in a holding pattern at the VOR until reaching the airway MEA. Here the ceiling's lower than 2,000. How much lower exactly is hard to determine since Oceano has no weather reporting. But San Luis County, just to the north, is reporting 1,500 overcast, so I don't really want to turn towards the high terrain. Fortunately, we have an ocean immediately to the west, so I'm going to plan to depart over the ocean until climbing to a safe altitude to turn on course. Ideally, I'd have some positive course guidance while doing that, but there aren't any named waypoints to navigate to on the low and route chart in that direction. Scanning the nearby airports, though, Santa Maria has a SID that goes from the Guadalupe VOR out to sea towards Pismo. Of course, we can't file the SID from Oceano, and it provides no guaranteed terrain protection except from the runways at Santa Maria. But it does give us a waypoint we can positively navigate to direct from Oceano on a path that remains over the ocean, and it includes a safe altitude to fly at or above after Pismo. Given today's weather, then we'll depart over the ocean on a course to Pismo, which should keep us safe as we climb. And then once we reach a safe altitude, we can either request direct to Paso Robles, or we might just get offered that by ATC. So that'll keep us safe in the initial climb when there's not a published procedure that's meant to do that.